let's say you have the chart in front of you and you see your patient has a traumatic brain injury and you never worked with someone who had a traumatic brain injury before and you might recognize pretty quickly that there could be a lot going on. You're reading CT heads, MRI heads, and you're seeing that there's a lot of damage going on. Here's a quick overview of brain structure and function. Firstly, good old frontal lobes. An injury here may result in issues with language expression, attention, thought organization, motor planning, problem solving, self-awareness, including things like safety, and it could also affect their personality. The temporal lobes, an injury here may result in issues with language comprehension, memory, hearing, and identifying and categorizing what is seen. In the parietal lobes, an injury can affect visual, perceptual, or other sensory abilities, including things like reading, spatial awareness, and sensation. For your occipital lobes, an injury can impact vision, visual processing, including reading and writing. In the cerebellum, an injury can result in issues with balance and coordination. It could even cause things like slurred speech. And in the brainstem, an injury can result in issues with breathing, respiration, sleep, heart rate, and levels of alertness. There are many different other structures in the brain and a lot of other things going on. For even more information about traumatic brain injuries, strokes, and more neuro review, check out adultspeechtherapy.co.